Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa was awarded the C3 Leadership Award granted by 2021 C3 US Arab Healthcare and Business Summit. The award is in recognition of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister's initiative in the international health sector and role in further strengthening the Bahrain US relations. On behalf of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, the Ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the United States of America, Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa, received the award. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority, and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, received the President of the United World Wrestling Asia, Dwalet Turli Khanov, upon his visit to the Kingdom. His Highness praised the efforts of the organization to develop the sport on a continental level. The two sides discussed the various ways in which cooperation may be further developed in order to support the formation of national teams for various age groups. For his part, the President praised the development of combat sports in the Kingdom, which are the result of the efforts of His Highness. He highlighted the achievements of the Kingdom in this field and expressed his readiness to support its further development. The Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa, issued a decision regulating mediation in legal matters following the approval of the Supreme Judicial Council. On this occasion, the Minister stressed that the decision represents a new and qualitative development at the level of the justice system in the Kingdom of Bahrain. It also comes within a package of priority decisions to enhance family and society stability, activate justice procedures in line with contemporary requirements and to achieve initiatives to enhance access to justice from 2021 to 2025. Sheikh Khaled also affirmed the Ministry's keenness to sustain the process of reviewing and developing policies, legislation and services that support family cohesion and protect the Bahraini family. He stated that the new decision creates a new legal path for resolving family disputes and includes specialized tracks in dealing with these disputes. For her part, the Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Women, Mrs. Hala Al Ansari, praised the issuance of the decision regulating mediation and legal issues and considering it a qualitative leap in addressing family disputes with alternative solutions and methods. Al Ansari considered that providing the mediation service will extend the services of the family reconciliation offices and speed up their processes in settling family disputes amicably by allowing civil and private bodies working in the field of family counseling. The Prime Minister of Kuwait, Sheikh Sabah Al Khalid Al Hamad Al Sabah, received at the headquarters of the permanent mission of the State of Kuwait in New York the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, on the sideline of the 76th session of the United Nations General Assembly in New York. During the meeting, they discussed the close relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and Kuwait, and the development being witnessed at all levels, as well as ways to further strengthen those ties towards broader horizon in the service of common interests. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, attended the reception hosted by the permanent mission of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to the United Nations on the occasion of the 91st National Day anniversary at Kipriani Grand Central Hotel in New York City. The event was held under the patronage of the Saudi Foreign Minister, Prince Faisal bin Farhan Al Saud, who hailed the deep rooted historical relations that bind Bahrain and Saudi Arabia's government and people. Dr. Zayani expressed his sincere congratulations to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and its people on this occasion, praising the Saudi strategic role in confronting challenges and threats facing the region. He lauded Saudi Arabia's contributions to advancing joint Arab action and its noble humanitarian works to help the people of the world, wishing the Kingdom continued progress and prosperity under the country's wide leadership. The Minister of Foreign Affairs and Chairman of the current session of the Gulf Cooperation Council Ministerial Council, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Azayani, headed the GCC delegation to the joint ministerial meeting between the GCC foreign ministers and the U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken, held in New York City on the sideline of the 76th session of the United Nations General Assembly. The Minister of Foreign Affairs welcomed on behalf of the GCC countries the opportunity to review the strategic partnership with the U.S., stressing the importance of the GCC-U.S. cooperation for peace, security and stability of the Gulf region and the Middle East. 
given the region's substantial strategic security and economic importance not only to the United States but for the entire world. During the meeting, the attendees discussed the distinguished strategic relations between the two sides and ways to advance these relations towards broader horizon and to continue constructive cooperation between them in various fields to meet the common aspiration and interests. Following the meeting, the Minister of Foreign Affairs stated that the two sides had held very constructive discussions during which they reviewed the main developments in the Gulf region and the Middle East and affirmed the importance of GCC-US cooperation in addressing regional issues. Touching on the developments in Afghanistan, the regional challenges posed by Iran and the situation in Iraq and Yemen, as well as other places in the region. He added that the GCC side expressed importance of redoubling efforts to reach a just, comprehensive and lasting solution to the Palestinian-Israeli conflicts which would contribute to regional peace and stability. And on the sideline of the activities of the 76th session of the United Nations General Assembly, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Azayani, met at the headquarters of the South African Mission to the United Nations in New York, the South African Minister for International Relations and Cooperation, Dr. Nalidi Pandur. During the meeting, they discussed the close friendship between the two countries and the joint efforts to develop bilateral cooperation in various fields and ways to expand the horizon of trade and investment exchange to serve the common interests, as well as a number of regional and international issues of common interest. And the Minister of Foreign Affairs also met his Sri Lankan counterpart, Professor Jamini Lakshman Pires. An agreement on the mutual exemption from visa requirements for holders of diplomatic, special and official passports was signed between the two countries during the meeting held on the sideline of the United Nations General Assembly. As Ayani said, the agreement reflects the keen interest of the two countries to move forward in strengthening the frameworks of bilateral cooperation and coordination. He voiced appreciation of the growing bilateral ties at all levels and the contribution of the Sri Lankan community in the development process in Bahrain. The Sri Lankan Foreign Minister praised the level of friendship between the two countries and expressed his country's aspiration to boost the cooperation. The two ministers also discussed regional and international topics and issues of common interest. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Minister of Health announced that 1,162,821 have received the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,108,896 have received the second dose, and 274,117 had taken the booster shot. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 754 with 84 recoveries, 90 registered new cases and one death. 44 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 41 are contacts of active cases, and 5 are travel-related. The ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.